Among the 50 global risks examined, there emerge constellations of risks which have been grouped into three risk cases. The reality in 2011 was that we saw protests really revolving around this notion of a dystopian future happen around the world. So much so that in 2011, the time person of the year was the protester. Income inequality, high levels of youth unemployment, elderly population more dependent on bankrupt or debt-saddled governments. The sheer scale of the issue is just daunting. If these issues are left unaddressed, they're certainly going to exacerbate fiscal problems that governments already have. Part of the solution to that is to get retirement security, health care security, long-term economic security for these individuals addressed and in a positive way. We live in the 21st century in a world that depends on systems that were basically designed in the 19th and 20th century. The weakness of existing safeguards is exposed by risks related to emerging technologies, financial interdependence, resource depletion, and climate change, leaving much of society vulnerable. Society at large is really showing signs of losing trust in some of the important institutions that we have developed over the last several decades. We live in an era of shocks and they're going to be global and they're going to be more frequent. And we need to test how safe our safeguards are. We need to get a partnership between government, society, business to address problems collectively, identify potential solutions, agree frameworks for implementing those solutions. Up to now, we've assumed that there have been only good things to happen in terms of being more connected. But at the same time, there are people who understand that that system can be used for less desirable ends and means. The real concern is that you have the capability to actually shake the system, to actually turn off some of the systems that allow us to be connected. We are seeing that cyber threats come in three categories, sabotage, espionage, and subversion. A key challenge is that probably no single institution can really address the risk in a comprehensive way. What is needed today is really a collaboration on various levels. Cyberspace is real, and so are the risks that come with it. It's the great irony of our information age. The very technologies that empower us to create and to build also empower those who would disrupt and destroy. One of the things illuminated by the report is that the risk is distributed in a certain way today. It's shifting. We have to decide where we want it to land before we can properly design the policies and solutions to really go after them.